Before we formally start the wiring and installation, we need to make sure the following items are ready. ADL400 Direct Connect Type Main Body One pair of insulation gloves for safe operation. Some power cable for direct connect power wiring. Some RS key cable for IS45 communications wiring. Screwdriver. To better understand the overall wiring procedure, we will first look at the wiring pin overview of ADL400 surface angimeter direct connect type. For necessary wiring pin overview part, pin L1, L1 prime will be used for direct connection between ADL400 and phase A live line of monitoring circuit. Pin L2 and pin L2 prime will be used for direct connection between ADL400 and phase B live line of monitoring circuit. Pin L3 and pin L3 prime will be used for direct connection between ADL400 and the C level line of monitoring circuit. Pin N and pin N prime will be used for direct connection between ADL400 and neutral line of monitoring circuit. Additionally, some other pin might be used for different usage. Pin 21 and pin 22 will be used for IS45 communications wiring. Pin 17 and pin 18 will be used for active pass output. For DIN rail installation of ADL400, we first unlock its DIN rail clip. Install it on standard DIN rail. Then, lock the DIN rail clip. For fixing the devices on standard DIN rail. If we are using 3 phase 4 wire value methods, Phase A live line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected to ADL400 via pin L1 and pin L1 prime. Phase B live line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected to ADL400 via pin L2 and pin L2 prime. Phase C live line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected with ADL400 via pin L3 and pin L3 prime. And make sure the forward current and NG direction of live line is from L1, L2, L3 to Pin L1 prime, L2 prime, and L3 prime. Neutral line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected to ADL400 via pin N and pin N prime. C 
CCDL400 is direct collect type NG meter. It will gain counter signal input, voltage signal input, and auxiliary power supply at the same time by direct connection above. If we are using 3 phase 3 wire wiring methods, phase A live line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected to ADL400 via pin L1 and pin L1 prime. Phase B live line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected to ADL400 we are pin L2 and pin L2 prime. Phase C live line of monitoring circuit will be directly connected to pin L3 and pin L3 prime of monitoring circuit. And make sure the forward current and the NG direction of live line is from pin L1, L2, L3 to pin L1 prime, pin L2 prime, and pin L3 prime. Additionally, we will need to short pin L2 and pin N of ADL400. About the IS45 communications wiring of ADL400, we take multiple ADL400 and one AWT100 LT gateway, for example. We will connect pin 21 of first ADL400 to the pin 21 of second ADL400 to the pin 21 of last ADL400. Then, connect to the RS45 port, port A of AWT100 LT gateway. So it's RS45 port A to port A to port A, to port A then to port A. It's the similar for the pin 22 connection. We connect pin 22, RS45 port, port B of first ADL400 to the pin 22 of second ADL400 to the pin 22 of last ADL400. Then connect to the RS45 port B of AWT100 LT gateway. Additionally, we will recommend to use two multiple 1.5 mm square RSP cable for RS45 communications wiring.